An Olympic gold medalist and one of the members of the Fierce Five says she was paid to keep quiet about the abuse she suffered at the hands of Larry Nassar. Michaela Maroney is suing USA Gymnastics, the U.S. Olympic Committee, and MSU for, in her words, ignoring the red flags about Nassar that could have prevented the abuse. Not only that, but she said she was forced to sign a confidential financial settlement to keep the abuse she suffered a secret. According to the lawsuit, USA Gymnastics was trying to silence her and she only agreed to sign it because she was in a desperate situation. Maroney says she needed the money to pay for psychological treatment to recover from the trauma caused by Nasser. The lawsuit also claims the agreement included a clause that could cost her $100,000 if she spoke of the abuse or the settlement. Maroney's attorney is calling the confidentiality agreement hypocritical, immoral, and illegal. He's trying to get her released from it because in California, where Maroney lives, a victim of child sex abuse cannot be forced to sign such a thing as a condition of a settlement. USA Gymnastics had a two-decade relationship with Nasser until it quietly fired him after getting complaints from athletes in June of 2015. As we mentioned, MSU is also named in this lawsuit because he worked there as a doctor. The lawsuit claims the university continued to let Nasser treat gymnasts affiliated with USA Gymnastics despite receiving complaints about him inappropriately touching athletes during medical treatments. Here's where the Nasser case stands as of today. Nasser was sentenced to 60 years behind bars on federal child porn charges a couple of weeks ago. He is appealing that sentence. Nasser will be sentenced on 10 counts of criminal sexual conduct in Ingham County on January 16th. The judge has set the entire week aside for that hearing because more than 100 victims have been given the chance to speak if they want. Then he'll be back in Eaton County for sentencing on the 31st.